let's create this hacker type effect. Let's start by changing the color of the background to black. Now add some text. Let's write two lines for the first paragraph. Copy the text block and type your next line. Copy that text block and type another two sentences for the next paragraph. Copy that text again for the last line. Now select all the text and change the color to this color green, which is perfect for the hacker type effect. Now let's add a glow effect to all the texts. Duplicate the page, select the first page, and delete the three other paragraphs. Go to Animate, and then Typewriter. Make sure to set the animation to only On Enter. Duplicate the second page, and delete the two last paragraphs. And again, let's add the typewriter effect to this text. Duplicate the third page, and select it. As with the other two pages, add the typewriter animation to the text. Now select the last page and add the same effect to the last line. Select the first page, go to the top and adjust the timing to 2.5 seconds. Apply to all pages. Select the second page and set the timing to 1.5 seconds. On the third page, we also want to set the timing to 1.5 seconds and the last page to 3 seconds. To take this to another level, let's add the typing sound effect. Go to Elements and search for Typing. Select the Audio tab. Find one you like and add it to the first page. Now we need to adjust the typing sound to only the parts where the text appears. Duplicate the audio by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Now click on the end of the first track and drag it to where we want the audio to stop. Click and drag the duplicate audio and move it to the second page. First duplicate it again, and then click and drag to adjust it to where we want the typing to stop on the second page. Repeat this process until you have all the typing audio perfectly synced with the text appearing. To take this even further, go to Elements and search for Glitch. Now select the Video tab. Choose one and add it to the page. Scale it up to fit the whole screen. In the top bar, click on the transparency icon and let's set it to 25%. Right click and send this video to the back. Now this video is super long, so we need to adjust the timing for this video. Make sure your video is selected and click on the scissors icon in the top bar. Now click on the end purple bar and drag it to where we want the video to stop. Copy the video from the first page and paste it onto the second page by pressing Ctrl C on the first page and then Ctrl V on the second page. Once again, send a video to the back. Click on the scissors icon and click and drag the clip further down. Repeat this process for the other two pages. So far so good. For the second and the last pages, adjust the timing of the background video to 1.5 seconds. Let's add a glitch sound to the second page as if the computer returns the text, welcome. Go to Elements, search for Glitch. Choose one that you like and add it to the second page. Adjust the timing accordingly. Lower the volume to 50%. I also want to add a little background music to make it a little more dramatic. Copy the last page and adjust the timing of the fourth page to 0.1 seconds. Select all the text on this page and change it to another font of your choice. I found one that's called Computer Says No. Make all the text into uppercase. Copy the glitch sound effect and add it to this page. Adjust it accordingly. Let's add a new page in between the two last pages. Adjust the timing to 0.1 seconds and turn the background into green. Now you should have something that looks like this. If you want to learn another awesome animation effect in Canva, you need to watch this next video.